the risk for uh, South Asians based on these standard Western medicine-based research underestimates their risk for South Asians mm -hmm. by as much as 30%. This underrepresentation, it's in research is the major problem. Well, they're, they're just not in, included in the research. They're that not they included, do. But, but they also, yeah, I think it's in both problems. But I think there needs to be more South Asian centric health guidelines and mm -hmm. more studies need to be done. Uh, there is unfortunately that lacking, but I think that there are enough studies and, you know, physicians should become more uh, cognizant of the uniqueness of South Asian health parameters. There has been studies now and, and even some guidelines for South Asians that should be followed. A waist circumference greater than eight, 80 centimeters in a South Asian woman, it should be, they, they're at higher risk and they should be monitored. But I think overall, if there could be some guidelines made specifically for South Asians, women, you know. And right? so by, a lot of times people say they're atypical, but by othering the symptoms that women experience, they're getting neglected. And so I think, you know, these are the symptoms we should be aware of and just not say these are, oh, these are atypical. Like actually they're more typical for women to get these symptoms and yeah. 